if your business involves dealing with resource management regardless from the health industry to massage therapy industry or any other industry that you offer professional services you understand the importance of efficiently making use of their availability and their calendar so we have this scheduling agents who look into the incoming demand look at the skill sets and ensure that the right skill sets are assigned for each of these appointments now then we have a surge in our business and our customers wait list starts popping up field service agents do their best to make sure that you know our customer wait list is reduced but increasing demands only increase the problems and then we have the issue of customer appointments being dropped resulting in a loss of revenue for the company so we all have been facing these problems how can we solve this problem so we have our voice agents to the rescue so the idea here is that the voice agents consistently looks into the appointments that are dropped look into the available capacity and reach out to those customers so that we have an optimal usage of our resources so let's look into this action of how we can make sure that voice agents kicks in day in and day out and looks for those available appointments reach out to those customers ensuring optimal usage of our resources and also ensuring our customer wait list has been gradually addressed so let's look into this how voice a agent can solve this problem in this scenario what we're going to look at here is that we have a list of customers right uh, who require a specific service type and they have a preferred date right so the idea here is that okay let's say in this case uh, let's take this use case but Bob Smith is looking to get his kitchen fixtures implemented and he has a preference for 24th of June right and he's in the waiting list so if I uh, for any reason um, the customer on any of these slots you know decides to not have this uh, service delivered we want to make sure that Bob Smith is reached out and the service is delivered so the moment I delete one of these appointments on 24th of June our voice agent will kick in and uh, see that the appointment has been deleted our teams have some capacity and I want to reach out to Bob to make sure that okay hey Bob like you know we have a capacity do you want to take it up all right so that's the whole idea for making sure that okay our waiting list customers are given a priority now if you have more than one customer on the wait list we can have different you know attributes that will prioritize uh, how the voice agents reach out to those customers in the waiting list all right so without further ado let's jump in and what I'm going to do is delete one of the appointments I'm going to start to see calls and I talk to the voice agent and it will fix it so at the end of the scenario I expect this waiting list to be uh, moved to confirmed right and when I delete the slot the slot would be automatically filled up right so let me go ahead and uh, delete the appointment that is uh, starting at 8 o'clock so these appointments have like a three start windows they can start at 8 8 30 and 9 a.m and will last for three hours so you only can have two appointments but can have different start times that's just the flexibility that is given so without further ado let's go ahead and uh, cancel this appointment go ahead and cancel it um, I'll go back to the same view that we were in and let me duplicate this window and just have it for the comparison so yeah I have a duplicate window and an appointment deleted now I will be expecting to receive a call as soon as the bot identifies this deletion and confirms me this appointment right so okay here I have a call let me answer it and put it on the speaker calling you to check your availability to schedule a booking as we have available capacity would you like to continue yes please okay great to start I need to retrieve your information from the system can I proceed with that yeah absolutely okay I have your details here could you please confirm if this is correct I have your name as Bob Smith you're interested in kitchen fixtures and your preferred appointment date is June 24th 2025 yeah, that's correct. 
Great. Now that I have confirmed your information, I will check the available slots for June 24th, 2025. Okay, Bob. I have a few slots available on June 24th, 2025. They are at 8 a.m., 8.30 a.m., and 9 a.m. Would any of these times work for you? These times are in the America Toronto time zone. Yeah. Um, go ahead and book me an appointment for 8.30 a.m. Okay, so you would like to book an appointment for June 24th, 2025 at 8.30 a.m. in the America Toronto time zone. Is that correct? Yeah, that is correct. Okay, Bob. Your appointment has been successfully booked for June 24th, 2025 at 8.30 a.m. Eastern time. Thank you for using our service, Bob. Great. So as you can see that... Um the appointment has been confirmed um, and when I refresh this page I should be able to successfully have this appointment starting at a slightly different time that is 8 30 that's okay that's perfectly fine this is what the expected outcome was like you know as soon as the capacity is available the bot will trigger the call look for the customer waitlist identifies who is you know having a preferred date it can also have like multiple attributes for prioritizing if more than one customer is looking for the service you can uh, prioritize this customer okay so what's happening here is that we have a list of you know flows on make.com that would you know look for an appointment being deleted right the first step is to look for okay the appointment is deleted uh, uh, let's show this flow to you as soon as the appointment is, is deleted, it will go ahead and look into the Google Sheets and say, okay, fine. Uh, based on the appointment that got deleted on, on uh, the TidyCal, here we're using TidyCal as the scheduling system. You can use uh, Google Calendar or any other scheduling system as long as it's exposing APIs and events. Okay. Uh, in this case, I've set up for every minute, but that can change. You know, it can be a trigger-based uh, uh, firing as well. Once it uh, detects uh, appointment deletion, it goes ahead and matches fine okay there's an appointment that's deleted on the 24th let me find if i have anybody in this waiting list so once this is here it will trigger uh, a call to bob smith and reach out first confirm this hey are you bob smith and you're looking for kitchen fixtures as you noticed um, and and your preferred date is 24th and once that is confirmed right um the voice agent will trigger a few functions. Let me quickly show that to you. So here's that voice agent that uh, looks into this, that is triggered as part of the flow. And we have a few functions here that will do the magic, okay? Um, it might look like a lot of list here, but these are small set of functions that the agent executes to first, you know, fetch customer information, okay? And now that we have the information, we've got a confirmation, now we want to um, you know get the list of available slots we just want to make sure that we use this function so that okay any other team member on the call is not booking uh, that slot right um, so the bot again ensures that the slot is available and then it uses the tidy cal book appointment function to actually fire and make that appointment okay um, and then finally, it, it goes ahead and update this Excel sheet where we saw the sheet was updated to confirmed. Right? So the whole process um, takes about three minutes at best to make sure that, okay, our, our waiting list customers are taking action. So your scenario can be similar. Your scenario can be a bit different as long as you have a problem statement that, okay, you have a set of resources that can be utilized to provide a service to the customer right it can be a service installation it can be a delivery or it can be anything in the utility space like you know um, your resource capacity is managed in a much efficient manner okay so what you're looking at at the end of the day like as soon as this appointment gets dropped for any reason your voice agents uh, calls and ensures that customers are confirmed if you need any further details on how this is built and how this can be customized or if you are looking forward to deploy such voice agents that can handle any of your you know, pre-sales, post-sales and service delivery uh, scenarios, um, please reach out to us in the, in the links and uh, I would be more than happy to connect with you and explore your scenario. 
Great. Enjoy. Thank you.